Developing tonight, new reports that terrorist sleeper cells may have been activated in France. This is we're learning new details about hundreds of no-go zones across France and other countries that are off limits to non-Muslims. Steve Emerson, founder of the investigative project, joins us. All right, Steve, my last guest told us some chilling details about these no-go zones. What more can you tell us about these zones, Steve? Well, these no-go zones exist not only in France, but they exist throughout Europe. Um, they're, they're sort of amorphous. They're, they're not contiguous necessarily, but they're sort of safe havens. And they're places where uh, the governments like France, Britain, Sweden, uh, Germany, they don't exercise any sovereignty. So you basically have zones where Sharia courts are set up, where Muslim uh, density is very intense, where the police don't go in, um, and, and where it's basically a separate country almost, a country within a country. You know what and it sounds like to me, Steve? It sounds like a caliphate within a particular country. Well, it certainly does sound like that. It, you know, it, it's, it's almost uh, the prescription that the, they're, they're asking Israel to do, which is to set up a separate, uh, a separate state within their own states, except they're not, they're not recognizing it, and they're, they're not dealing with it because they don't want to. I got into a tweet fight with the French ambassador who denied that there are any such things as no-go zones, except on the French, you know, uh, official website, it says there are, and it actually has a map of them. So, uh, and in Britain, it's not just no-go zones. There are actual cities like Birmingham that are totally Muslim, where non-Muslims just simply don't go in. And parts of London, there are actually Muslim religious police that actually beat and, and actually wound, uh, seriously, anyone who doesn't dress according to Muslim, religious Muslim attire. So there's a situation that Western Europe is not dealing with. And in this country, you know, we have this this, you know, the selective orientation toward what is radical Islam. The president doesn't say it. We include Turkey as part of our ally, despite the fact that it supports Hamas. It provides safe haven to the leaders of Hamas that coordinate attacks on Israel. It Include Ham Europe just lifted the sanctions on Hamas. So when Europe says, or France says, we're engaged in a war against radical Islam, they don't include Hamas. Okay, they don't include Hezbollah. Steve, is there any way to get these no-go zones back? In other words, does France want it back? Does Belgium want it back? Does Germany want these zones back? Because what's happening is this is metastasizing into a simple takeover. I think even you said Europe is over. What did you say, Steve? I said Europe is. Fin I said the other day Europe is finished because if you extrapolate the number of Muslims, and I'm not saying that all Muslims are terrorists, far from it. Of course But the not. problem is that the leadership of the Muslim communities in Europe deliberately don't want to integrate, and so they establish these zones which refuse to integrate and they use them as leverage against the host country uh, uh, as, as political and military leverage. So, w will these countries take it back? I don't see it happening at this point. You see a reaction by the population, uh, Judge, but I don't see the country elites taking them back. And, and that's really unfortunate because it fosters the whole perpetuation of radical Islamic generations from here to come.